Elliott. I was mayor of Wheeling from 2016 to 2024. Uh, I left office after my second and final term on June 30th. You know, earlier this year, I decided to get into the Senate race uh, when Senator Manchin decided to, uh, that he was going to retire. It's been an incredible journey so far. You know, We knew that once we won the primary, uh, we'd likely be facing Governor Jim Justice, so we knew it was an uphill battle. Uh, but we also feel like it's one that really deserves to be fought. The governor is the most flawed Senate candidate in the country, bar none right now. Uh, you I'm put him in just about any other state, it would be a laughing stock. He's only competitive here because of the R next to his name and because, you know, people think this is a safe Republican state. I disagree. Uh, you know, I think Governor Justice, uh, you know, has so many liabilities, so many flaws right now uh, that, you know, we're going to expose him for who he is. And I think a lot of West Virginians, especially in the southern part of the state where we are here today in Hinton, uh, you know, I actually already know who he is and are going to be eager to look for somebody else. Uh, we're right now in the middle of a 55 county tour. Uh, we're, I think, uh, Summers is our 49th county out of 55. We started this on a West Virginia day, and the goal was to end by Labor Day. So, um, you know, we're going everywhere. We're talking to voters where they are. We've knocked on a lot of doors. This is, I want to say, our, our 10th or 11th town hall that we've had here this afternoon in Hinton. And we're doing everything we can uh, to take this message out to the people and show them that they have a, a viable alternative, someone who's worked in the Senate. I worked for Senator Byrd years ago, and someone who, you know, has the skills and tools uh, to effectively represent West Virginia in the Senate. The next year I got an internship with Senator Robert Byrd and that was life altering in every way. I spent the summer working for him in 1993 and then I, when I graduated college I just went to work for him full time in DC um, and learned so much from the man. I may remember in 1994, the Republicans took over the House and Senate in, in D.C. with Newt Gingrich and the Republican Revolution, whatever they called it. Um, it was bad news for if you were a Democrat, but for me personally, it was great news because a lot of Byrd senior staff decided to just retire. They'd been with them for decades and uh, wanted to move on. So it opened up all these staff positions for me to uh, you know, go from just being someone who writes letters all day to someone who gets to write speeches for Senator Byrd and sit with him on the Senate floor, travel the state with him, advise him on issues. Uh, and just see up, up close the way he went about that job.